Now to the story of a Youngstown man and the changes he is dealing with that are affecting his health. He's on oxygen and it's no longer being delivered. There's First News Weekend anchor, Keely Lover. If I get it, I'll probably die. And that's just the way it is. I, I have to accept it and move on with what I got to work with. Tim Gremmels has been living with COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, for four years. His reduced airflow makes it hard for him to breathe. It also makes him high risk for complications with COVID-19. I was flabbergasted. I, I couldn't, couldn't believe they'd make me come out and get it. Lincare, the company that has been supplying his life-sustaining oxygen tanks for over a year, has temporarily stopped delivery. They told me on the phone, we cannot deliver to you. If it's not an emergency, we can't come to your house. And, and I said, excuse me. <laughs> Gremmel says he's never had to leave his home to get the oxygen, and being high risk, he's even more concerned that he's now required to pick it up from Lincare's location on South Avenue. I can get a cheeseburger ordered and delivered to me from McDonald's, and they don't even deliver, but this company that's set up to deliver life-saving me medicine and equipment to people won't deliver because of the coronavirus doesn't seem right to me. I reached out to Lincare. Their head of communication says they are still committed to their patients. He sent me a statement that says in part, quote, the steps we have taken are meant to ensure as minimal contact as possible with our patients. We reach out to our patients to discuss their situations so that we can provide service in the best way for their needs while following all social distancing and government guidelines. Gremmel says he wanted to share his story in hopes that others can still get their life-sustaining equipment or medicine without putting themselves at risk. I'm not really mad at Lynn Care. I'm disappointed in them because they've been supplying me good service for over a year now. But when the rubber meets the road, they just didn't come through for us. You can read the full statement from Lynn Care on our website at WKBN.com. In Youngstown, Keeley Lover and WKBN 27 First News.